Well, we're, we're very confident that the legislation we put forward will, will meet the needs of Manitoba families, which, which is very clearly to invest in flood infrastructure and critical infrastructure right across the board. Uh, every province is taking uh, approaches to either raising revenue uh, or making room for the uh, federal infrastructure plan that has been announced in the federal budget. Uh, we're no different than other provinces in terms of looking to uh, meet the needs of, of Manitoba families. On that. But is it legal? We're, we're really confident that our, that, our balance, uh, that our approach is a balanced one, that our legislation reflects that, that our legislation will provide for long-term uh, uh, flood protection, long-term uh, critical infrastructure investment, and uh, we're, we're very confident that uh, we, we can move forward with that, yeah. But are you not violating the current law that says you cannot introduce a bill for first reading to raise the sales tax unless you first held a referendum? Well, we are the government that uh, we can put forward legislation that meets the needs of Manitoba families, and that's what we've done. And we're very confident in this legislation. We're very proud that we're putting forward uh, a, an approach that invests, as opposed to what you saw yesterday, which is uh, an approach that cuts vital services to Manitobans uh, in, in order to, uh, I, to, I don't know what exactly they were trying to pull off, but that cuts deeply into, into services that Manitoba families uh, want the most. When you, were agriculture minister, when you were agriculture minister, you were adamant that the federal government listened to the plebiscite and listened to farmers' voices before changing the Canadian Wheat Board. Now uh, a referendum plebiscite is not needed? Well, we have, we have been very clear that we're going to move quickly with this uh, legislation, that we've done that. We've been very clear that we're going to quickly get funds in place uh, this year so that we can take advantage of a construction season to make sure that this very necessary infrastructure gets put in place, $100 million this year that we've targeted for flood infrastructure alone. Uh, Manitoba families depend on a government that can protect uh, their homes, uh, protect their farms and their businesses. I think we also have to put in place decisions uh, that protect our economy and keep it growing. So we're going to be moving very quickly on this. We're, we reject the approach that says you have to cut nurses and cut teachers and cut uh, corrections guards uh, in order to accomplish that. Uh, we are going to build this province and we're going to use this legislation to do it. The federal government was uh, said that it was very clear that it was moving quickly to change the Canadian Wheat Board and you were, you were against that. You wanted a plebiscite. Well, as I said, every government, including the federal government, are making decisions on how they approach infrastructure. Uh, some provinces have introduced uh, higher taxes. Some provinces have introduced health premiums. Uh, some provinces uh, have cut into services. Uh, we've been very clear that we're taking this revenue measure in order to build the fund that will put money into uh, critical infrastructure investments, uh, flood protection investments for uh, Manitoba <coughs> families, Manitoba farms, Manitoba businesses, and we are very serious about continuing to grow our economy. So right. we Mr. Think Mr. Minister, there's an, there's an issue here that we're trying to get to, and that the current law, the balanced budget law, says very clearly that you can't introduce a bill into the legisla Legislative Assembly to raise the PST or the payroll tax or income taxes without first going to a referendum. That's what the law says. You've introduced a bill that violates that section of the law. How is that legal? We've introduced legislation that enables us to invest in infrastructure that matters. So you don't want to answer the question? We've, we've heard that. We've That's an advertisement for your party. But can you answer the question about the legality of the bill that you have introduced into the House with regard to the law that's in force right now. We, we have put our approach out there very clearly for Manitobans. It's an approach of investment. It's an approach that, that guarantees by law that the funds that we raise will go directly into flood infrastructure and critical infrastructure. Every government in the country is looking for ways to tackle these problems. We're not going to put our heads in the sand like some have. Uh, we're going to take these head on. We're going to make the decisions necessary that uh, allow us to protect Manitoba families. Uh, and, and